Hello, I'm Atrisim and welcome back to From the Depths. You can see that we have improved the starting fortress a little bit. You can see that the uh, the bit with the stone doesn't look quite so terrible anymore. It looks still pretty naff, but it doesn't look quite as bad. I've also uh, put an extra little engine in, a normal 3x3 800 horsepower design. And I've actually got a little blob here that you might not even notice because it is full of fuel, but it's just clad in wood. Because I thought we needed a bit more fuel storage. We're about to be attacked, which is why I'm talking pretty fast, by two atlases. And then two more atlases, because apparently atlases are the flavor of the day today. I don't mind. It's not as if atlases are, you know, particularly scary. So we're going to make sure, since they're coming over there, that we're going to have our frigates somewhere about here. Uh, are you not going to keep on station? Yes, you should keep on station. I approve of that. And I think what we'll do is we'll get to there. And then we'll engage them. They can also fight the uh, Starting Fortress if they want. Starting Fortress is just a Gatling Cannon. So it should be reasonably effective in taking them on. Right. So... Gonna lure them a little bit further. Right, we'll take you on now. Oh, it's dark. Great. I'll call in the starting fortress. Take the block size up to maximum. I would like you to deploy a little bit further away, just so we don't end up ramming each other. And let us begin the battle. There go the missiles. None of whom are guiding. I oh, know they are guiding. They're just going to have a fun time. Oh, oh, they managed it. They managed it. Oh, I didn't think they were going to make it. Very nice. They've ripped the entire side of there. That Atlas is almost down. Cannons are doing some good damage. Torpedoes are also doing damage to them. Good call to launch the torpedoes there. Oh. They're going to manage it. Oh, just got past in there. Right, we're going to have some problems targeting them now. So, apparently, you want combat mode, so go into combat mode. Nope. Good try, but no. What about this lot? Nope. Um. Ooh. Am I control? Which one am I on? I don't think I'm on that one. That's not good. You're just going straight into terrain. That was that was very clever. Um, is there any way I can take direct control of you? Only when it's in patrol mode, and they don't have patrol cards. I really should just give everyone a patrol card. Because I really just don't trust them. Why? Why? No, you want to get closer, technically. But you can't get closer, because I told you not to get too close. As long as you turn right, not left. Oh, God, you're turning left. Starboard, go starboard. Come on, I'm talking in nautical terms. Please. Oh, oh, I could win. That suits me. Thank you. Uh, did we even take any damage? No. Sure. Come at me, bro. It's a very technical term. What I'm going to try and do... Is... Oh, no, I can't do it.
Right, I'm take both of them on at the same time. Admittedly, you are, what, like... Casket Bolt. Okay. Eh, you could do a little bit of damage. Right. Begin battle. Oh god. Here we go. Oh, they've changed target. Ah, <laughs> you're falling out the air. Now, let's just launch some torpedoes. Oh, maybe we have torpedoes in- We have torpedoes in the water. Just please stay in the water long enough for torpedoes to hit you. Damn it. And they might rip the back off. Very nice. There we go. Torpedoes are hitting the back. Mostly misses, but we did, uh... We did rip a sizable portion out of the rear. This is a pretty good naval engagement, apart from the fact they're about to ram each other. Please don't ram each other. You're operating very close. This doesn't fill me with... Okay, we need to bring our guns up because we're not shooting this guy. Um. Come here. Come on, I got ya. I think I may have just shot myself. Yes, I have. Let's let's not do that again. Thought I was shooting our friendly for a moment. There we go. That's a pretty harsh turn for the missiles. I'm glad they can do it. I was a bit iffy about what angle I have to set the missiles at to be able to actually hit a target, like when they're at, say, like there. I think they're set to 75 degrees, so like there. I might be able to increase them a little bit in the future. Ooh, might actually claim this guy. No, too late. And we killed the casket bolt. Sweet. I oh, don't. No. Is it still there? No, it's yep. He's spawning. Well, there's some resources around. I'm gonna leave them because we only get ten percent of it. I'm just gonna leave those resources around for now. But I am, I am very pleased with how the battle went. Right. We'll go to there, and we'll go to there. We'll fight all these guys, and then we'll go in here. Now, I think that'll be next episode, but this, this bit here we can do this episode. Come on, bring it on. How much resources do we have at home? Not enough for another frigate. Come on, chase me. Maybe we could have just a big battle. Yeah, that's it. Bring it. Take you all on. If we lose this fleet, by the way, we are screwed. We'll have to start from scratch. Okay. Go on, catch up. Don't be so slow. What are you made of? Patchwork. Oh, okay. It's not terrible then, actually. Okay. I'll take you all on. Ah, oh, still only 7.4. Bit of a shame. 
Right, let's start them out a little bit further apart this time. Last time it was a little bit iffy. There we go. Begin battle. Ow! What the hell was that? Something exploded. We're out of range for our missiles, so we're having to get into range. You can see that they're actually still uh, capped. I think the cap's open about 200 meters before we get into firing range. Oh, hello. You've started launching missiles, though. I can't travel fast enough to see what's going on over here. Oh, those look like the anti-missile missiles. They are. Do casket bolts have missiles? Something just launched from the casket bolt and went into the sea. I was hoping to show you the anti-missile missiles when they launched. Casket bolt, you're, yeah, you're dead. Are you officially dead? Yes, you are. Okay, first part of the engagement has gone well. No idea who we're shooting at. It's this other fleet over here, but... Still out of range. Oh, wow. We have... We're decimating you with our... Uh, cannon shells. I didn't think our cannon shells were going to be this effective. Now, you know, you might say, oh, you should take control of the cannons. At this range, there is no chance I'd be able to hit this guy. Minigun is air targets. That's where human-like judgment comes in helpful. Because air targets can jink around quite a lot, and the computer can't really, like... It's not very good at judging acceleration. Or judge where it will go if it's going at the same speed. But if it's changing speeds, um, like, for instance, it's turning in a circle, technically that's acceleration, it can't do that. It really sucks at doing that. So, as a human, I will take over the air turrets because it helps. Um, but everything else, the computer does it better, really. Oh, here we go. I think we've launched the volume missile, so this guy's dead. And the missiles, yep, stopped short because it detected the enemy was moving downwards. At least it's still hitting it. Just not with the, uh... Because they've got kinetic warheads, which are not doing much damage because they're going very slowly on impact. And that's another volume of missiles, I think, just went into the ocean. Yep. Come on, blow up already. Although, that is a volley missiles headed over here. The base is. I didn't know the base was so far gone. It never came out from under the water, I'm assuming. Or the engine turned off. No, the engine's still on. <laughs> I love how the missile's just like, oh, we missed. Coming back round again. And then run out of fuel. Why are you... You're very derpy, aren't you? I mean, you look kind of cool, but you're too far below the water, really. Also, I hate these paddle things. Just... Ugh. Okay, this is, this is called overkill. <laughs> Look at that as well. I don't know why they were fighting such an arc. Oh, they hit the mountain. Oh, poor guy. I believe that's it. I think we've won. We now have ourselves our very own Enemy Captured Resource Zone. Right. We're doing a lot better than last time, that's for sure. All right, let's just uh, consolidate our position by just grabbing these ones that have got no one in them. And then what I think we'll do is we'll leave the frigates here. 
Um, still don't have enough to build any more frigates at the moment. But what we'll do is we'll just move this up here, capture these points, come back, make sure no one's uh, come forwards to us. It's unlikely that they'll drop in behind us, but it's possible. And what we'll do, I think, is the next episode is make a resource outpost. Now, I don't know if we're going to arm it particularly well or arm it. Um, mostly it's just going to be about gathering resources. I mean, the um, majority of our military force should be movable because these, like, bases only get attacked once or twice and then your, your front should be beyond them. So they shouldn't have too much defense, at least not in the early game when resources are an issue and it's kind of a waste. Uh, when I could be putting those, like, resources effectively into guns that move as opposed to guns that are stationary. In the late game, maybe there's a point. But in the late game, you don't tend to get taxed as much, I guess. So, we'll see. But for now, I think what we'll do is next episode is going to be about building a resource outpost. Probably one that looks a little bit on the pretty side, does something fancy. You know, there's going to be something special to it. But uh, for now, I've been Erelysium. If you enjoyed, please like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. This was a glorious victory for our frigates. I think our frigates have well and truly proved themselves. I hope I have put them up on the uh, the workshop. Maybe? I probably have. But yeah, until next time, stay shiny.